This is Brian Putt. Today I want to talk about the Meyerson distribution. Why is this important? Oftentimes we have subject matter expert input that reflects a P10, P50, P90 percentiles. And what we want to do is sample from that distribution. The Meyerson distribution easily allows us to do that. And we'll use SIPMath to generate the Meyerson distribution from those P10, 50, 90s. The other instructional point I want to make is how to generate an interactive cumulative distribution function. I saw several YouTube videos that were just poorly done. They didn't show you the proper way to do that. So I will include that as part of generating the Meyerson distribution, a sample of which you can see on the left hand side where I have a P105090 and you'll notice it is not symmetrical. The P90 to P50 has a differential of 10, whereas the P50 to P10 only has a 5 differential. Let's flip over to an Excel worksheet. I assume you have the SIPMath toolbar already in installed. If not, you'll need to do that. And you can look up my instructions for installing the SIPMath toolbar in my YouTube channel. So the first thing with this blank worksheet is we need to initialize the workbook. And this added the PM table and some Smith chart and a SIPMath chart data down here. So we need we need to identify the P10, the P50, and the P90 outcomes. So what shall we do? If we're going to replicate that other chart that I showed you earlier, we'll put in 5, 10, and 20. But these can be any numbers. These are just simply inputs. And I like to make the inputs yellow. Now, we're going to generate a result over here for the, the Meyerson distribution. And the Meyerson distribution is going to require a random number. And it's going to I'm going to give it a seed. I'm going to specify so I can change the seeds. With the SIPMath toolbar installed, we simply come over here and say generate the Meyerson distribution. And here we will specify the P10 tab, the P50 tab, and the P90. The random cell will be here and the seed will be here and we'll use the HDR methodology for generating that random number. We've now generated the distribution but now we need to store it someplace. So we will do that is go to SIPMath toolbar, define outputs, we'll need to give this a name. I'm going to call it D underscore Meyerson. You could also point to a cell with the proper name. I don't want to use spark lines because I'm going to generate a cumulative distribution function. Okay, the results of this Meyerson distribution that matches the P105090 is over here in the PM table. We can see that distribution. Other people would typically then sort this and do some other stuff. I'm going to make it much easier for you. It's something that you can uh, use for lots of different distributions. What we're going to do is use the percentile command. And I'm going to generate, I'm going to ask to generate the 0 0.002 percentile, that'll capture the lower kale. And then we'll, we'll capture a 1 percentile increments all the way up to 0.99. Grab those and pull down. We can then delete these last few, we don't need those and we'll put a point 998 here. Now at, up to the top again, we want to get the percentile and we'll use percentile exe of this distribution we defined using SIPMath called D Meyerson and we want the 0.002 percentile. I'll lock my A here because we may wish to add other um, distributions and now I have my the points to plot. To plot those points I simply collect the percentiles 
insert a XY graph and I'll do lines. I then go to design, select the data, edit the series, and specify the X values which are the percentiles here. Okay, okay. I now have my chart and we can clean that up. So here we have our chart, we could add a title, but it's a very nice chart and we can also control the x-axis. Let's bring that over to our model. I'm going to copy it. And here we now have our chart and we can change these numbers here and the chart will be interactive and change with it. So I could put in a, if I put in a title of 15, I now effectively have a normal distribution with a mean of 10 and some standard deviation representing, you know, whatever it might be. Or I could put in something that's log normal that looks more log normal. I could put in a great big number here and now I have a log normal. And you can see how interactive this all is with SIPMath. Oh, I guess I never did put in a seed here. I'll put in a seed and we'll see that we don't really get much difference here. Uh, oh, one other point, point we should probably point out is let's get the, um, this is the deterministic result. And well, then we can put the EV over here. And the EV is going to be equal to the average of this D Meyerson. Remember, this is the name I used when I used SIP math and generated an output. So it's 15.9 is the average of this particular distribution. And once again, if I put in a 15 here, it should come out 10. Pretty darn close. If you want some more information about SIP math, please visit www.probabilitymanagement.org. You can download the toolbar there. There's some instructional videos, other appropriate materials also available. You might want to watch some of the other videos in my YouTube channel. Uh, you can contact me on LinkedIn or at brian at the Thank you.